woke up this morning Got me feeling brand new Like I know what to do Got me feeling the scalding Ancestors sending clues I'm sending I have lost track of how many of these party buses there are. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> She's screaming. <laughs> part of downtown i mean that was a large section of downtown sure i mean it's like it's okay. like um new orleans it was like a big bourbon street like a really big bourbon street now that's just a part okay so while it's a big part of downtown it's not a big part of nashville in general there's a lot of really nice areas of nashville if I've been to that part of Nashville in the past, I don't remember it being quite like that. Yeah, that's that's how my memory serves me as well. Like, you and I have been to Nashville, and I don't remember that. That was a long time ago, though. What and then I came ago? on a girl's trip probably five years ago. God, I can't believe it's been that long. And I don't remember it being like that either. Granted, we didn't spend a whole lot of time in downtown. We stayed in downtown. No, no, no. The girls and I. Oh. <laughs> okay, we didn't spend a lot of time down there. We had a cabin and we went to different neighborhoods. But anyway, the Gulch is nice, but it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's tiny. I also think that to just yet to be really clear, you know, I think that the issue with the downtown, like what are the cities that come to mind? Um, thinking about that little stretch of downtown where New Orleans, all the bars were. That's New Orleans, totally no, Key West. To mind. No, I, I have Key West. But Key West is not that wild, Ed. It's no, but just the, not. the volume of the alcohol. Yes. It's more tame than uh, New Orleans, than Bourbon Street, and more lively than You think than it's more tame than Bourbon Street? Yes. Okay, you probably have more experience. <laughs> Let's, I, I'm going to trust Ed's judgment with this one because his early 20s were different than my early 20s. Um, but right now we're heading to uh, East Nashville. I found, I was like, okay, I got to do a little digging here because this is <laughs> Downtown Nashville is not going to work for me. All right, so I found another neighborhood called East Nashville, and there's, uh, it's specifically called the Fatherland District. That seems a lot more up my vibe. So you, what is this called? That's the ham and um, 
this is like ham, parmesan. Oh, okay. Oof. These are huge. You can have some of my food, Ed. This is way too much. You can have the other halves. All right. Here's a little review. This on the menu was called avocado hummus toast. And it has pepitas and alepo. I'm not crazy about the fact that they they clearly mixed the avocado and hummus. Like they blended it together. I thought it was going to be like slices of avocado on top of some hummus. Not uh, loving this. This is delicious. It's like a smoked trout, I think. Amazing. Beautiful flavors. Uh, hoping Ed will eat that. It's <laughs> too much. I'm hoping you're going to eat the eggs. Is that too much? Is that too much for you? I didn't think so. I think everyone should travel with an Ed <laughs> because whatever you don't want, he will have. <laughs> huh? Hoover it down. Hoover it down. El perro. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to make one more comment about the toasts here, like whether you get the avo toast or this one. They're using an Italian rustic bread called Pugliese. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pugliese. Pugliese. It is amazing. Beautiful bread. So the way this works is I'll like take my time in all these stores and Ed's basically already explored the entire area. Oh my God, how cute. I'm like a squirrel. <laughs> this place is so freaking cute. I'm like, can't even take it. All the little shops are they're small you know they're 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 owned independently owned the person working in there is the owner for the most part um so it's just so much more of an intimate experience you know you're not just at some big chain store it's great highly recommend this area fatherland district i've walked into tristy designs a very funky little jewelry store and tristy is here Hi, Tristy. Hello. She makes all of her jewelry in house. I love like when artists are in studio. <laughs> Look at Tristan's work here, guys. How cute is that? This is probably the coolest antique store I've ever been inside of. I've walked into Ellie Monster and the artist, seamstress, is in-house. Do you mind? I am. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So you're Ellie? I am. Um, and so she programs, so she, she draws it. Yep. And then she programs the sewing machine and it, it does it. That is so cool. And this is her store. Yep. And I'm trying on this fabulous jacket. It's like a jean jacket, but very light. And it has this really pretty embroidery. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it. and it's vintage. Here's to hoping this place is open because it has my name written all, oh yeah, they are open, woohoo! It has my name written all over it, guys. Hi! How are you? Good.
It's actually makes sense though. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that one. Yeah.